Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see list of files feature in Azure Data Factory copy activity. In our channel Cloud Tech Academy, we have posted more videos on Git, Azure DevOps, Azure Data Factory, and Azure Pass services. The detailed URL of various playlists are available in the video description. Please make use of it. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality. In our last video, we have seen about wildcard. In this video, we are going to see about list of files. So as per the current scenario, we have uh, some set of files, which are Excel. These files we need to copy from one container to the another container. And we have one text file, which will list out whatever the files we need to copy. The main advantage of this feature is that you don't need to maintain this configuration somewhere in a table or you don't need to put kind of loop and all just we need to specify what are the file we need to process in a simple text file and copy activity will process them we have created this azure data factory from our last video what we did is we have created a blob link and we have created two data set one for the input container which is in excel format and we have specified the input container over here and sheet name as one similarly for output we have created uh, one data set which is of csv format and we selected the file path as output container the arm template of this azure data factory is available in the video description you can directly make use of it instead of creating from the scratch you can just make use of the template inside our input container we have uh, many files but all we need is student data 2 and then student data 3 these two files we are going to pick up explicitly and i have one more file extra here and inside the folder as well we have one more file but we do we are not going to process this extra files or we are going to process this only these two files so i have created one text file here i have mentioned what are the files we need to process along with the format name there is no comma nothing like that just put in next line and let's upload this text file uh, to our container let me select the file let me come back and uh, yeah this is the file let me upload this to our container yeah uploaded now let's get back to azure data factory so in the copy activity under source if you see last time we have selected wildcard file path so this time we are going to select list of file so just select this and here it will provide an option to select the file so if you browse this it will navigate you to the uh, storage account blob so under blob you can select the file which we have uploaded now so let me select that file and click on ok yeah that's it now let us run it so let it copy after this we will see how to uh, include the folders as well let me refresh yeah it got completed in the output container yeah only those two files are appearing here in the next scenario uh, we have uh, two file file one and file two and we have third file as well inside a folder so folder name is extra data under this we have one more file so let me show how we can uh, specify this in our list of file the folder name black slash followed by the file name so this is how we need to specify let me get back to the input container and under input container previously we have loaded these two file so in an additional scenario so whatever the file inside this folder also we need to process let me show that this file we need to process and let me edit that list of files let's get back here just put one more line in the next line type the folder name let me see the folder name okay it's extra data so folder name black slash file name along with the format that's it yeah now let's upload this file i will 
re-upload so that this will be overwritten. Let me select the file. Under list of file, I am going to open. So I am going to overwrite. Yeah, uploaded. So even you can cross verify the file content uh, with the edit option. Under edit, you can see what are the contents inside the file. Yeah, it looks perfect. Now let me get back to output container so that we will delete the older files. In output container, I have deleted. Yeah, done. Now let's get back to Azure Data Factory. There is no changes required since uh, the file which we specified is same. Just run it. It will take few seconds to finish. Let me refresh the latest status. So under monitor, you will have a refresh button in order to see. Yeah, it got completed. Now in the output container as well. Yeah, the files got copied. So that's it. See you on the next video. We have uh, more scenarios to see under copy activity. Thank you for watching this video and I request you to subscribe. Bye bye.